Good morning. It's Angelique. I just got back from my walk. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful day. You know, just sometimes you really just don't feel like going for a walk, but it's part of my routine now. So I'm like, yeah, it's a beautiful day. So welcome to my live broadcast. I appreciate you turning in. And I just want to let you know that starting tomorrow, I'm going to actually start posting these live videos on my business page. Um, I, I'll, I'll, I don't know if you're on there, but I'll share, I'll, I'll record it live over there and I'll post it over here instead. Yeah. So that's what I'll be doing tomorrow. Hey Shelly, how's it going? Good to see you here. Um, so yeah, on my walk this morning, I was thinking, okay, what can I talk about today? And, uh, actually my accountant came to the office yesterday because unfortunately I'm not doing coaching full time yet. I'm still working on building my business. So it's still kind of brand new. So I actually have a, if you don't know already, I have a, I'm a third generation school bus owner. So I've got the, I don't know if you can see the school buses there in the backyard. So I still work here. I'm still part owner with my brother and my dad. And I just finished up our, um, our financials for the year. So my accountant came by yesterday to make us. A long story short, so he came, he just got this, for him it's brand new, he got a, a new Kia, like a, an SUV, and like my brother's like, oh, okay, that's really nice and everything, but he says, but like, hey, dude, like I know you, I don't know how you put it, but not to be rude, but it's like, well, you know, like as if like you can afford way better than a Kia, like what are you doing with a Kia? And it, like, he's like, and he was like, you know what, I, I, I work with my clients mostly online. I don't have to travel a whole lot. So there's no point in me going and spend a whole bunch of money on a 2020 model when someone else has already taken the cost of depreciation from this car. So he said, I just bought this 2018 Kia. It's got like 30,000 kilometers on it. And I paid like, you know, 18,000 Canadian. He said, I'll probably keep it for about three years and that's fine. Then I'll just take it back. And everyone wants my car because I don't put a lot of mileage on it. And I get that we got this whole conversation going about cars and and my daughter Amanda she's going to be going to Carleton University starting in September and she's been using my my husband's old Hyundai Santa Fe it's a 2009 and it's got some issues with it so I said well let's see what we can get and so she said well you know I really really want a, a Jeep Wrangler I'm like okay okay start looking holy smokes those things are expensive I mean um uh, like the the I, I was looking at one it was a 1990 no it was a 2013 uh it had like a hundred thousand kilometers on it and they were asked like twenty eight thousand dollars plus tax like are you freaking me out and i said well why i said why do you want this car in the first place you know you're like have you ever driven yeah i've been in one but you know i really like it because it looks like a g-class mercedes and since we can't afford that well i really want this instead I'm like okay so I'll keep looking and it's like you know I was asking opinions about people from people and and apparently it's 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 quite the popular vehicle for people her age she's 21 and actually my husband's cousin's daughter in California wanted one too and I don't know what the thing is about about Jeep but they all want these Jeep but not the Cherokees they have to look like these boxy things anyway so we got to talk about this and my accountant says you know what he says I had one of my clients his son wanted that car to go to university so they bought the cheapest one like the little the little uh whatever engine it is like the smallest model manual stick shift and everything but then right away they had all these expenses to pay on it and it cost them a fortune in gas and it wasn't until they told their son that he had to pay his gas on his own did they they actually got rid of the car within six months because he refused to pay the gas and it was so expensive and anyway, i thought it was pretty funny but that really got me thinking like a car is a, a car I, th I, I like to think of a little bit of like a diet plan you know it depends what your goals are like for my daughter she's going to be using the car to go from ottawa to montreal every weekend so okay well what is the, what would be a good car for that you know, it's not for to get to, to a Jeep that gets really crappy gas mileage just because it looks good in Instagram pictures. Of course, I'm being mean. That was just me, my opinion. But but it's, it's not so much about the look. You know, I just the popular thing. But it's like, what, is, what do you need it for? Like, what's the long game plan? Like, if, if you're trying to lose weight, for instance, over the long haul, well, maybe uh, you should think of your plan more of like a, a sturdy Toyota Sienna, like my car, that's going to last for like years and years and years and not just some cute little sports car that maybe looks awesome on the outside, but not so great on the inside. You know, maybe your goal is to, um, is just to go to a, a high school reunion, like in six months and like make your old boyfriend super jealous. 
that a, that's a whole different plan. Or if you want to, um, if you're like planning for a wedding or something, or if you want to, um, if you want to do like bodybuilding, say you decide that, oh yeah, I'm going to do these bodybuilding competitions. Well, maybe the idea of eating five, five or six small meals throughout the day would be the right plan for you. So you really have to look at what your needs are and then go and get what you need to fill those needs, whether it's a car to fill your driving patterns or it's a diet to suit the way you're living and what your goals are. There's so many choices out there in diet programs, in cars as well. So you really have to get to know yourself and know what your goals and, uh, and you know, know yourself, know yourself and not just going out and doing something or getting that car just to look good. But like, what does that mean to you in the long run? Especially if you're making a big investment, right? Because cars are expensive and you're investing in yourself too. So, so just think about that. Food for thought for the day. So on that note, like my video and don't forget that tomorrow I'm going to start doing these lives on my actual business page and I'll be sharing them here with you. So I'm going to get out of my car here. I'm getting really hot in here. So have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Tune in. Thanks for being here, everybody. Wayne, Stephanie, Jackie. Hey, I'm sorry. I have to turn my head. My phone's kind of weird. All right. Have a great day. Bye.